All right. Let's play Knights. Um, sure. Okay, A1. So we take our knight, move it to there. Simple. Oh, these must be impassable squares. So I have to go to there, to there, to there, four, five, six. Simple. Okay. Um, okay, that was pretty straightforward. Oh, here we go. So here, you have to move um, one of your knights out of the way so the other knight can occupy that square. Um, and... Wait. Did I have a more efficient solution? I wager I did. Um, now these two knights are knights throw away. Um, but this one, I guess, doesn't have any convenient way to get to across the board. In theory, on a 5x5 board, this would be a distance of two moves, but on this miniature board, it's considerably more challenging to get there. One, two, oh, you could actually do it. One, two, three, four. There's two solutions there. All right. Um, this has got to get here from there. Oh, not a whole lot of options on this map. One, two, three, one, two. One, two, three. Okay. Um, so, well, this can't go onto the square of this corner. Uh, so this knight has to go the other direction. So we'll let that dictate the pace of play. But this knight's in the way, so this knight's got to move first. And then this knight's got to follow simple. Oh, all right. We've got colored squares. I was wondering if this is ever going to come into a play. Uh, we need these to uh, switch locations. No big deal. Um, and there we go. And now we need the red knight. Okay, there's no contention here. That was remarkably straightforward. All right, you've completed all the levels in the pawn level pack. Rook pack is now available. Oh boy. Um, oh, these crowns must mean I've completed the stages. All right, let's go on to the rook stages. There's 12 of these. Uh, hopefully these are a little more interesting. So how am I going to get a knight there? It's got to come from one of the squares that a red knight is currently occupying. Um, that's a bit of a challenge now, isn't it? How do I get onto one of these squares that a red knight occupies without actually capturing a red knight? Okay, so there's just going to be a ton of shuffling here, and there's no way to avoid it. Um, you could try to over-optimize this, but you won't get anywhere. Well, forget over-optimizing this. Let's um, uh, let's just find a solution. So let's suppose I want my red knight there, my blue knight here, and then my blue knight to move out of the way. And I guess the red knight could follow the blue knight. Um, I want to say there's a point to this because, oh wait, there's another side of this board down here. This side of the board could help me figure this out. Um, yeah, now how do I get down there? Unfortunately, that middle square on the bottom rank is not accessible. Um, so again, I've got to go through one of these squares occupied by a red knight, but I don't have to stay there. I want to find the ideal solution, though. So, yeah, I'm confused. Oh, 
Um, hmm. Well, so let's suppose that one of these knights goes down here. And then I get my blue knight to move into that space. And then the red knight goes somewhere else. Um, let's see. This doesn't give my knight very many other places to go, however. So I need to get a knight onto A3 here. Um, not, oh, never mind, I see. Well, this doesn't help my knight get to A3, though. Uh, A3 was the target square. Um, this will end up going through that square I've already visited. Um, I guess move the blue knight out of the way. Uh, whoops. Okay, so we can get there. But now how do I get my blue knight to B2? I have to go through one of the top corners. Which isn't feasible in this state. Um, so how did I get... Right. Okay. So, these knights are just chasing each other all day. Um, I can't seem to break this loop. How do I break the loop to get my knight somewhere useful? I never imagined myself having so many problems with such a simple puzzle. Um, okay, that was way more moves than necessary. Let's see if I can do better. So my goal is to place the blue knights, and then place the red knights. Um, so with that in mind... Uh, and then... That's a lot simpler. Okay, I don't know why that was so difficult the first time. Uh, so how am I going to get a knight to B2? Um, oh, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two. Nice. Um, Alright, so we got C2 and D2. C2 here, again, looks like the tricky square to get to at first. Oh, also getting this knight to B1. Um, oh, I see how to do that. Put this there, this... Oops, this goes over here. This there. This goes in like that. And then we cheat somehow. Oh, never mind. Just get the knight out of the way so you can place this one here. There's probably a more efficient solution, but I can't be bothered. That didn't pose too much of a challenge. Um, okay, this corner here, A3, is a little bit tricky to access. because so I've got to get to B1 or C2 first. But to get to either of those squares is a bit challenging. Um... Yeah, I see I could get this knight to there. Um, I guess, likewise, I could get this knight here, but what's... The... Oh, okay, I get it. If I could get that knight here... Yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, four... Oh. I can't get both knights onto this square. Um, let's start over. Yeah, this is the simplest way to get both knights onto those locations. Then uh, we could move this knight around and this one around. 
and this knight's in the way, so I didn't do this the most efficient way, but who cares? We got there. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you would just like to play knight takes knight, and then play knight takes knight and into the goal. But no such luck. This puzzle demands that your knights chase each other all the way around the board. Uh, so we got that. And then we've got... Oh, that won't work. Now will it? Three, four, five... Yeah, okay, that works. Nice. Um, okay, we got to get the red knight in the corner. And the blue knight here. Well, the blue knight there doesn't look too difficult. But the blue knight's in the way of the red knight getting into the corner, I think. There's nowhere... My knight can't jump to the center square again. Um, so I need to find a way to get the red knight to the corner without capturing the blue knight. Oh, okay, so let's get this out of the way. Put this into the corner. Um, only to have to take it back out again. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Because I want to go just W across the board. But in order to do this W maneuver, I've got to get this blue knight moved out of the way of that maneuver. Um, but in order to get the blue knight out of the way, that's why I did this. So the blue knight can move out of this maneuvering thing. Um, I'm not making progress, am I? Okay, so let's try this corner. Yeah, no, I'm not making progress because... Oh, I'm missing the obvious. So this blue knight's got to go into the corner and back out. So this knight can follow it. So this can go back into the corner. Um, and then this just does a simple... There we go. That wasn't so hard. Um... Okay, I sense that this one's probably more difficult than it looks. Um, only because there is an asymmetry to deal with here. But whatever. There's so many open squares. It's such an open... Pu oh, okay. Now we're talking. Now we got a little bit of a challenge on our hands. Um, well, let's start with the obvious. Um, and then deal with the rest. So where is this knight going? Nowhere. <laughs> Going nowhere. Okay, and then this one like that. Cool. Um, nice. Well, that felt like progress for a second, and now this guy's stuck. That's haste making waste. One, two, three, four. Two. Oh. Right, right, right. All right, so let me try that again. One, two, three, four. Um, oh, that does surround this knight. Ha! Huh. All right, so it's required that this one go through the corner first. Wait, but then there's no way into the corner for the other knight. That's okay. We're talking about in vertices and out vertices, um, or in edges and out edges. 
This corner has only two exit state, uh, points. Uh, the red square and this square. Oh, actually there is... From the red square you can go to the corner, but the only place you can go from the corner is back to this square. So I could go to D1, but I'd have to go back to B2. Because there's nowhere to go from D1 other than B2. So this knight is effectively trapped. Um, it's going to have to unwind this way. But as it unwinds, um, it gets in the way of the blue knight, which wants to go into the corner. However, um, the only way into the corner is through the red square, because you can't get to B2 first. Because to have gotten to B2, you would have had to go through the corner, as it's not possible to get to D1. Um, basically, what this amounts to is that this knight is in the way. Um, so it's got to unwind like this. And then, I guess once we've unwound it, we can stick the other knight into this corner. And then it really doesn't matter where we put these remaining knights, provided that we eventually hit a solution. There we go. Congratulations on clearing most of the levels in the Rook level pack. The bishop is available. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. We're going to continue with the Rook level pack. Because how hard could this possibly... Oh. Well, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Alright, so if we go there, does that offer any advantage? Two, three... Um... One, two... One, two... Can I... Two, three... One, two... Yeah, that wasn't so hard. C3... Um... Okay, so this, since that getting the red knights to the destination looks more difficult than getting the blue knight through A1 to C2, but maybe uh, looks are deceiving. How do I get anything to D3? Okay, I mean I could bounce through B2. Then how do I get to A or C1? Oh, yeah, both of the well, no, they can't both bounce through uh, B2. Where is this red knight going? This well, first it has to go here. Then from there it has to not collide with the blue knight, um, which means the blue knight's got a bit of a journey ahead. Um, okay. So where can this blue knight go to get to its destination? To... Oh. Oh, this B1 square is a destination that can only be reached from C3. As exactly these two squares, A3 and D2, have been blocked off. So B2 is the end of the line, um, which means we can impose a total ordering on these squares. Um, basically, the red knights have to get ahead of the blue knight um, in this knot that has been formed. So I have to untie the knot by finding the point by which uh, blue red knights can advance beyond the blue knight. Um, Alright, so how do I untie this knot? Okay, let's start with that, I guess. Yeah, this... Oh, wait, this is also an end of the line for exactly the same reason. Um, oh, here it is. Here's the way by which the knights pass each other to 
unwind the knot. Um, and then something like that. And then this just has to ultimately find some path to get to the C2. There should be multiple ways to get there. Um, unless I'm just stupid. Okay, so to get to C2, I've got to go through A1. To get to A1, I have to come through either the destination square, which was C2 that we just talked about, or uh, B3. To get to B3, I've got to go through there. To get to here, um, yeah, I've just wound the knot again. Alright, so this is a trickier knot than I thought it was. Um, B2 is a destination. This knight shouldn't have to move. Well, we'll see. Maybe it's forced to for some unclear reason. Um, I probably had it and blew it at some point here. C3, A2, or, yeah, C3, A2, C1. I don't know. Here, let's start by doing the outrageous thing and just moving this knight as far as it moves. And then seeing how far these other knights can go. Yeah, I don't think I've made any progress. I'm pretty sure I've not made any progress whatsoever through that maneuver. All that I'm doing is getting the knights to chase each other in fanciful ways. Um, okay. Yeah, how do I get to A1? is the key question. Getting to A1 is going to solve everything if I can just manage to get there. Can I get any blue knight to... oh, here we go, knight A1. That gets the knight to A1. Um, I was saying that would help. But I think that's only in the context where this knight isn't already on C2. Can I get a knight to A1 without this knight on C2? Um, mm -hmm. Alright, let's step through the corner. Um, yeah, I guess like that. And then backtrack then put this on its destination. There we go. C4. Now we're talking. Now we got a real challenge. Um, well, okay, so there's three, four, five, six, seven squares accessible. This is two, one, one, two. All right, well, let's do what we have to do. Oh wait, no, this doesn't have to go necessarily to B1 if I move my other knights around. Um, man. Okay, well, I thought I had the hang of this. So three, four, but then this has got to be out of the way. Um, and then we put 
this there, and we got lucky. We got so lucky. We're getting the hang of it, I'm sure. But yeah, I think that one you're basically forced to solve. There's no alternative to solving it. All right. Um, yeah, this is just to acquaint you with a slightly larger board. And oh god, it's going to get more and more difficult each time. Um, all right, out of the corner you go. Again, got to be a more efficient solution to all of this, but this works. A2, um, <laughs> I mean, one of these knights has to touch on B2 first. One of the red knights has got to go there and ruin our beautiful, beautiful symmetry. Um, and then our other knights just step... Okay, there isn't actually any contention there. It just looks beautiful. It's not actually difficult. Um, wait. This... This should be like one of the simpler problems. You just move the knights out of each other's way. It's just a simple rotation puzzle. Um, I said simple. I really thought that this was simple. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Okay, it's not just a rotation. We got these two knights alternated somehow. Um, I'm going to get to these squares. If I want a knight on c3, it's got to come basically for b1, or a2 or b1. Um, getting a knight onto a2 or b1 isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be at first. Uh, I was pretty sure this was going to be a piece of cake. And now I'm more than a bit disappointed it's not so simple. Although I was looking for a challenge, so I did find it. Um, I definitely found my challenge. That'll show me to say this is easy. Um, Okay, so that was not too bad. Uh, now, how do I get a knight there? Well, this just steps aside so this can walk in and this goes back. Alright, yeah, that was a bit flashy. Um, okay, knight there somehow. Is this so simple? Where's the puzzle aspect of this? Um, I think that was just to help you relax a little bit before we step up the difficulty. Um, so then... Are there any vertices that are more difficult to access? Yes, this corner has only one entry point. I think that's the only highlighted square that has a single entry point. Um, so this knight can't move because the red knight's in the way. The red knight would like to go through this red square to the other red square. Um, I guess they don't care how they get there, but... Um, this knight like to get to, well, there's tons of useful ways to get the knights to move around. Um, 
But this one's basically got to go through the corner, so this can go here, so this can go there. Um, so this can, um, once this knight gets out of the way, we can move this here, that there, and this can go to the destination. So that wasn't so bad. Um, okay. Oops. Uh, I misclicked. I think. What confused me is I'm seeing a red knight on a blue square. We're looking for blue flower with red thorns. Um, props to those who know the movie reference. Um, so... I sense that there's going to be more colors, only because I looked at the options menu, and I know that there are more are coming up. Yeah. At least it's not Snakebird. This is, like, way easier than Snakebird. Um, at some point I do have to get back to Snakebird and complete it. So... I guess having the top and bottom squares off limits is a little bit tricky. And that obvious patterns are out of the question. So how do we handle this? Where can this knight go? The knight can go nowhere because the only square it could go is cut off. So we have to be able to move the knights past each other because they can't go through each other. Um, this is a symmetrical board, so it doesn't matter which way I start. Oh. Okay, they got the knights past each other now. Um, so then we just go back. And we go back again. And step around, and we're done. Ha! <laughs> Eight nights. Okay. I want an ideal solution of this, but I'm too lazy to go look for it. Um, I think an ideal solution would be one move by this knight, two by that knight, one by this, two by that, etc. For a total of 12 moves. I'm not sure if 12 is possible here. But I think a target score of 12 would be amazing. Uh, yeah, no, there's... no... I would be stunned if 12 were possible. Well, should we try to do something obvious? One, two, three, four... Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect score. <laughs> okay, you had to make it more difficult. I came up with this beautiful solution, and it doesn't even give me, like, any special award. Clearly the game is broken. <laughs> um, man, I, this is way more interesting than I thought it would be. So yeah, this corner here is off limits except through this square. So that's obvious. Um, ditto if I can get a different knight to that square and into the corner, but I'd have to move this one first. Um, so where do I want to move this? Where do I want to move it? Ideally, <laughs> actually this line outlines the path beautifully. That's the path. And this knight goes there. 
and then this one steps into the corner, and this goes to the remaining square. Wait, have I missed something? Well, this one has to go back. Okay. Um... So... Where's the end of the line here? I feel like A3 here, leading into that square, is the end of the line. It's not really. This board is too large to have any... Um, forced end, I guess. But there's logical points you could divide this at. Um, oh, these... All these red squares are connected. That's lovely. Um, so if I could get the knights on the red squares, then the rest of the knights can just um, live in peace. Oh, in fact, they are connected. One, two, three. Then we say one, two, three. And then we say one, two, three. Three, and then we just plunk these knights where they gotta go. Oh, these knights are all connected as well. So, um, is there a more most efficient solution here? This here. This there, this like that. Okay. C two. Um it's getting a little more cramped here. <laughs> a little more cramped is putting it lightly. So, do I have to put this knight here first? Oh. That's a bit of an issue now, isn't it? Um, so if I just do this, then... Oh, okay, this is actually doable. Wait, no, I'm, I miscalculated. Yeah, no, there's ample space to maneuver there. Ooh, this is lovely. So again, should I just try the obvious thing and just rotate this uh, molecule? It's like this, like that, like this, like that. Um, I thought that was going to be more productive, honestly. It doesn't lead anywhere. All right, um, everybody's exactly in everybody's way. So, um, what if I try something stupid like this? And now we're not that close. We're actually probably farther from the solution, but it's easier to keep track of what the heck is going on this way. One, two. One, two, and then we just alternate the reds and the blues. One, two, one, two, one, two, there we go. And we just keep this pattern up. Oh, but we're in the corner. Does that impact anything? It shouldn't. Um, it does. <laughs> right. There's only one path into the corner, so this is less than optimal, but it works. All right, C4. Back to difficult puzzles. Not just tedious ones, but difficult ones. Um... So this night... It is barricaded by this knight. 
which is barricaded by these two. Which are blocked by this, and this can freely move. Um, if it goes in the corner, it has to come back the way it came. So, uh, we'll go the other way. And this frees up other stuff to move. Um, so something like this. Oh, shoot, I need to get my knight to that square. What I want is to get this here, but it's got to go through C1. To get to C1, it's got to go... well, we'll see. It's not going to be easy to... well, actually, no, this is doable. I think. All these knights are in the way of me getting... Um, step aside. Keep stepping aside. Oh, but that's trapped. Alright, so we gotta step back and then over here. Um, now, how do I get up there? I guess this knight goes there. Like that. And then we just fill in the gaps. Wait. I was too hasty. It matters not, I'll eventually get there, but um, this is not an ideal solution by any stretch of the imagination. He cleared most of the bishop level pack, but we're gonna go on to D1. Oh. So, the challenging part is to get this one knight past all the other knights into the corner. Um, so, how do I do that? It's got to go through C2. To get to C2, it's got to go through... Well, we just got to shuffle these all around until this blue knight magically makes it to the corner. And then figure out if there's a remaining problem. There probably is. Um... Okay, so we got into the corner. So what's the remaining problem? Assuming there is one. Um, how do we fill the remaining squares, I guess? No, that wasn't so hard after all. Um, I could see these problems becoming much more challenging very quickly. There's so many ways to make this difficult if you really wanted to. If that were your goal, you could make this ridiculously challenging. I don't think that was the game designer's goal, um, but I'm sure, like any good video game community or computer game community, there's somebody who wants to, like, make this extremely, insanely challenging for no good reason. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna get this moved out of the way so this can go there. Uh, wait, is this surrounded? Okay, so that's my end point. Um, Something like that. This has got to move... Well, let's try to figure out how to get to all the other destinations, too. Um, yeah, how in particular do we get to B4 here? B4 looks like the easy score to get to, but it really isn't. Oh, wait. So that's how we get to B4. 
And then this gets us to D3. Nice. <laughs> oh, okay. Variations on a theme, I see. Variations on a theme. So we need to get all the knights on dark squares onto light squares and vice versa. So let's start with the obvious again. Um, hang on. Let me make sure I get my radial symmetry right. Uh, to the corner. To the corner. Not to the corner. Not to the corner. And do likewise here. Corner. Corner. Side. Side. All right. Next, um, just get all the knights onto dark squares. How hard could that be? All right, one, two, one, two. Um, one, two, one, two. And then get these knights onto all the squares that are occupied. That's the challenge. That's how I have to do. Okay, so let's try something a little less um, optimized. All right, can then these remaining knights dance around the perimeter to get where they need to go? I don't think so. Okay, so this will actually require getting s like all the knights of one color to their destination, and then all the knights of the other color to their destination. Um, or something like that. So, this is easy enough to do, but we need to be able to move the other knights like this. That's not any closer to where I need to go, is it? I guess we'll find out. Why did it feel compelled to do that? I thought I saw something. Well, at any rate, that does upset some of the symmetry, so that's hopefully a good thing. But no, I trapped my knight. Don't do that. I could just randomly shuffle the knights till I get an answer that works, but I sense that there's a better way to do this. There's almost always an elegant solution. Quarter rotation with those knights. Um, like I get these knights all in a chain following each other. Um, gonna get this. Oh wait, that's not even the knight I need to get on to D2. Um, well, I guess at this point I'm resorting to random shuffling until I get something. Which is not ideal. I don't like it. I'm not gonna abide by that whole random shuffling stuff. Um... I feel like I want to have one color knights on all the dark squares and the other color mixed half and half on light and dark squares. So let's put all the blue knights on dark squares. All our knights are in dark squares now and then let's get half the red knights onto light squares.
Preferably if we can get closer to the solution, that would be nice, but I'll settle for what we can get. Okay, I see these knights can quickly hop into their destinations. Oh, as can the other knights. Um, but I just can't put them all on their destination scores at the same time, or that gridlocks my knights in the corner. Um, okay, so let's build a square. And that way, these this knight isn't trapped. Um, so now what? Now is supposed to be the big moment. Okay, this knight's not trapped either. Oh! Oh dear. Wow. Okay, I do see something though. Like if I put all the knights on an edge of the board, that is a shape. This is certainly a shape. Um, this shape does not trap the other knights. So... I don't know, maybe I do the same thing with the other color knights. I put this here, this there, uh, this here, something like that. Now that's not the goal, but it at least prevents deadlock or gridlock. Oops, that's not where I wanted this to go, is it? Oh no, that's actually fine. I've got no objection to that. Um, okay. Oh, but this grid locks the other knight. This knight has to get out this way. Um, now grid lock starts to be a bit of an issue. So I need to get my remaining knight onto the square. Something like that. But not exactly that, because that prevents... Um... Ay, ay, ay. Planning is tricky. Wait, what? I guess, yeah, I has to go here, but no. Jeez. Close enough. Close enough. Not even close. Just need to switch these two and we're done. Um, much easier said than done. Close enough. Well, I mean, that is the solution, but there's a better way to do it. That's okay. We don't need a perfect solution. Um, so now what? What do we got? So these are all knights throw away. The blue ones are a bit more distant. I think meaning that the red ones you have to get in place first because that grid locks them and the blue ones could just dance around once the reds are in place. Um, how do I get any of the reds to any of these destinations? I mean, if I do the obvious, surely this fails for some obscure reason, right? All my red knights are chained together. If there were a way to get any one of these to its destination, all three would instantly follow, and this would not be a puzzle at all. Um, therefore, it follows that this is just not the right way to approach that. Um, 
Let's move into the corner because we can. Um, okay. And now what? Something like this. This is still incorrect though, because we have we have to get a knight onto C3. I mean yeah, how do we get a remaining red knight onto C3? Well to get to C3 it's basically gotta come from A1. Or I'm oh, sorry, A4 or A2. Um this knight can't get to either of those squares. Uh, oh, now yeah, I can get to a2. Um, we've got a bit of a knot going on again. So... No, that's not the way to untie it. That's not the way to untie it at all. Okay, how do we untie this knot? I'm just waiting for a puzzle where there is a knot, but you don't have to untie it because there's some clever way to manipulate it such that it, it doesn't prevent you from solving the puzzle. Um, yeah, so this is the crux of the matter. Uh, this knight doesn't have anywhere to go, so it's going to have to be this one that moves somewhere. Um, and then this wants to get back somehow. <laughs> Why did I think this would be easier than it is? I still imagine this to be an easy puzzle. This could not possibly be as difficult as I'm making it look. Uh, so, yeah. I'm impressed. This one... This one should be easy. And yet it isn't. It feels like, just with only four squares barricaded, there should not be any problem solving this. But, again, this knot-like thing that's going on here is making this more challenging. goes back to where it came from, right? Yeah, this is just going to randomly shuffle among these five squares. Um, Can this knight get to any of those center squares? I don't think so. Okay, so I guess that's the issue. 
It's the getting in and out of the center. Um, oh, you have to go through here. You have to go through there. That's the knot. Okay. There we go. My, aren't we the smart one? Well, that, that's half of knights right there. Um, I think I've had all the knights I can take at the moment. So, yeah, this is on sale at Steam. Um, you just saw me solve it, if you were paying attention. But maybe you enjoy the game, maybe you like the artwork, maybe you want to show it to other people. In any event, go support the developer. Go support the artist, the musician, everybody who made this possible. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good night.